All right, so let's go ahead and switch gears, brother. I want to go ahead and jump on into this teaching uh, with regards to uh, the tithe. So on Tuesday evening, what we discovered, brothers and sisters, in this teaching, the era of faith, what we discovered is that men have come along and defined what a tithe is. But the father himself never, at no time, said a tithe is money. Men came up with that ideology by virtue of a way to get financial uh, 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 consideration brought into the church, which is in complete error. We find, go get me that son, Matthew, Malachi chapter 3. And I want you to pick it up there, verse number uh, 6. Read, that. Read, read it, brother. Read it kind of quick. I want to catch up with my time. I got to catch up with my time. So, he never said that a tie is money. There's not one scripture that any man, anywhere, I challenge every minister that preach and teach that a tithe is money. A tithe always was, always will be agricultural produce, food, and animal livestock, which is also food. The 11 tribes, amen, out of the 12 tribes had to bring, amen, 10% or a tenth of their crops and give it to the Levitical priesthood because the Levitical priests or the tribe of Levi was Yah's inheritance and they were not able to work but rather they had to adhere to the works of the temple. Alright? Read it brother. In the book of Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6 Alright? For I am Yah I change not. I am Yahuwah and I do not change. Therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. You sons of Jacob, you're not consumed. Come on. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances. See, you went away from my ordinances. Read it out. And have not kept them. And you have not kept them. Return unto me and I will return unto you. See, Save y'all. return. Okay. Return. That's simple. Return unto me. That's all you got to do. Just come on home. Come on home. Just turn back to me. Read it out. But you said, where, where in shall we return? Yeah, come on. Will a man rob God? Yeah, now see, this is how they get you. Put the fear in you too. Will a man rob God? Preacher be all over the mic, spit flying everywhere. <laughs> huh? He be all hype. Veins popping. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, it, it'd be something. And people be sitting in there, every time they get their check, they, they shaking like a leaf. And then you, you on the way to work and you get a flat tire. You think because you didn't, because you didn't give uh, the man of God 10% of your money. Any bad thing that happened, you think it's because you didn't give 10% of your money. Come on, son. Read it out. Well, a man robbed God. Yes. Yet you have robbed me, but you say, wherein have we robbed thee? Read it. In tithes and offerings. You see? In tithes and offerings. Come on, son. You are cursed with a curse. That's what they tell you. Listen, robbed. listen, 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 listen. That's what they tell you now. This was sold back in the Old Testament was the truth. The 11 tribes, amen, said, look, man, I ain't giving them priests. I'm giving them nothing. They was keeping it. I have not found where they went to go sell it and then put money in their pocket. But they was keeping it. They was doing something with it. But the father rebukes them. You got to take care of my anointed that stands up and brings forth to you the services of the Father. Services in the temple. All right? Y'all can't feed your families and not make sure that the family of the priesthood, Levi, is not taken care of. Are y'all listening? So what did he say? What's the response? You are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me even this whole nation. Yes, sir. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse. Bring you all. How much of it? All. How much of it? All. Bring all of the tithes into the storehouse. Read it, brother. That there may be meat in my house. Hold it. That there may be what? Meat in my house. Meat. That don't sound like a $100 bill. Meat. That doesn't sound like a $2,000 check. 
meat. That doesn't sound like, amen, uh, 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 what is a thousand dollars because you got a check for ten thousand dollars. That says meat. Meat is food. What is meat, brother? Food. Mm-hmm. When you go home and sisters, when y'all cooking that good old chicken on the stove, is that meat? When you're frying that fish, is that meat? Hmm? When you bake your turkey, when you, when, you, when you stick your hand in the oven and look and pull it down, do you look in there? Did you stick it in there as meat and then you come back and look and it's there a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars sitting in there? Meat is meat. Meat changes not. Y'all changes not because meat changes not. Is that right? Yeah, brother, I said it. That's right. I said meat changes not because y'all changes not. What did he say, brother? Bring you all the tithes into the store storehouse that there may be meat in my that house. That there may be meat in my house. Read it. Improve me now. We're here with. Improve me. What did he say, brother? Say, y'all of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. Hey Amen. Stop the windows of heaven. What is he talking about? So at the top of so at the top of the dome. Y'all don't know what the dome is. We live on a flat earth. Amen. If you want to continue to believe that it's a round globe. and uh, they, they just lied to us so bad. And at the top of the globe there are gates. And the Father has gates and he will open those gates. Amen. Sometimes when you see a uh, big gigantic hur- uh, uh, hurricane, the Father has opened the gates. At the top and allowed wind to come down. You go and look, read, in, read into the book of Enoch and you will, you will discover there are gates at the top of the dome. So when he sent the flood the first time, he opened up the gate. It wasn't just uh, rain fell from the clouds. No, it went above that. Because there were gates. And that rain came down and that's how the flood came about. Read that verse again. Bring, verse verse 11. Mm-hmm. Verse 10. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. Yes. Improve me now herewith, saith Yah of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven. The gates of heaven. Are and, you listening? And pour you out of so we So we know that gates of heaven because Yahshua should talk about the gates of hell. So if there's the gates of hell, then they got to be the gates of heaven. Huh? Mm-hmm. I will open it up and pour you out a blessing. What's the blessing? I'm going to send the rain. I'm going to send the rain to rain the crops. And he says what son? Read the rest of it. And pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. So you see the nations, the father would send famine in the land. Mm-hmm. But whereas he sends famine in the land upon the nation, Israel, your crops going to grow in abundance. Mm-hmm. And then the nations will have to come to you if they want to eat. And then when they come to you, they will learn that if I'm going to eat, I got to go to the Israelites. I know we're not used to that because we've been in captivity. But the nations that going to be blessed had to come to us. I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. You won't have a room enough to receive. What you mean room enough to receive? Because the, because the blessing of the crops is to go into the storehouse. And then the crops go into the storehouse, meaning the tithe goes into the storehouse, and there will be an overflow. You won't have room enough to receive it. Read the rest of it, son. Verse 11. Yes, sir. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. I'm going to rebuke the devourer. Now, we said that the devourer, we went to Joel. Uh, chapter 1 and chapter 2 amen and, and, and just the, just the case of those that didn't get that Joel chapter 1 verse 3 through 4 6 through 7 9 and then verse uh, through 12 and then we went to uh, 18 and 19 as well and then out of Joel, Joel the second chapter we went to 21 through 25 why did we go there because we go to that to show you that in those verses those, that's when it makes mention of the caterpillars the canker worms and the locusts the scripture said that they are and are they are the army of the father. And he would the father would raise up that army to go and destroy the cross. That is the devourer. Because Israel was saying, Well, we're not going to pay our tithes. We're not going to give our tithes. So the father said, If my men, if my anointed, my men of y'all can't eat, ain't nobody gonna eat. Mm-hmm. Are you listening? So the father said, I will rebuke the devourer. Read the rest of it, son. Verse 11. Come on, 11. And I will rebuke, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and, yes. he, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Uh-oh. And the, and, and, the, and the canker worm, the locust, and the caterpillar, the insects will not destroy the what of the ground? The fruits of your ground. The what is it? 
fruits of your the ground. The fruits of the ground. The fruits of the ground. That's food, agricultural produce. Glory to his name. Agricultural produce. Y'all, we've been hijacked. We've been, we've been, we've been bamboozled, hoodwinked. We've been hijacked, run amok, led astray. Uh, we, we've been taken for bad down through the years. And these fake false pastors, but some of them, now let me, let me be careful with my work because some of them just honestly did not know. They just took a teaching from the man of y'all that they sat under and never really went and did, did a, a precept upon precept, line upon line, hear a little, there a little study on, for their own self. But Brother Scoppers, y'all, I did a study of my own self. Glory to the Father. And I come to the saving grace and the saving knowledge that God never told nobody in the New Testament church to get 10% of the money that you go out and earn. A tithe was food then, it's food now, and it will always be food. Come on, son. Verse 12. Yes, sir. Over, continue to verse 11. Yes, read it out. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, save y'all host. See, your vine ain't going to cast your fruit. Again, food. Food always was food, always will be food. Read it, brother. Verse 12. Yes. And all nations shall call you blessed. But why is all nations going to call you blessed, Israel? Because the Father going to send a famine in their land, and then he's going he gonna to bless you. He's going to open up the windows, the gates of heaven, and pour out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive, meaning you won't have room enough to put it into the storehouse that's in the temple. Read it, brother. For you shall be a... Delightsome land, save y'all folks. See, going to be a delightsome what? Delightsome land, save y'all folks. Listen, let me make this clear. If all around the D.C. metropolitan area was now, no, there was no, gro no grocery store that had any food in it. But one grocery store in Upper Marlboro was, I mean, was stacked to the center with food. Up a Marlboro would be a delightsome land where there's a, everywhere else where there's a famine. Joseph. Huh? You see? So he said, Israel, you're going to be a delightsome land. Why? Because you will have an abundance of crops when the nations, amen, they won't have anything. Amen. Matthew chapter 23, 23, we'll see Yahusha, Hamashiach, amen, upbraiding one of the Pharisees. Who gave tithes. Let's see if this Pharisee who gave tithes. Did he, gave, did he give money? Read it son. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees hypocrites. Uh oh. Hypocrites. You, you scribes and you, 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 you Pharisees. You're just hypocrites. Read it son. For you pay tithe of mint. Tithe of what? Mint. Mint is a herb. It's a plant. You heard of pepper mint. Where do they get the mint from? The mint is a herb. They take that herb and they process it. And when you add it to it, look, you can look, you can take that that mint herb and you can smell it. You can smell the pepper mint. You can smell the mint because it's called mint. That's a herb. Google it when you get a chance. Google these things. What is a mint? Read it, brother. And anise. Uh-huh. And, and anise. That's and, food on where? Come on. And cumin. And cumin. Come on, food. And have omitted the weightier matters of the law. You see, Judgment. but you omitted the weightier matter. In other words, you gave your tithe, but what you did, you omitted the weightier matter of the law. Read it out. Judgment, mercy, and faith. Judgment, mercy, and faith. You omitted that. You omitted it. You took it out. You, 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 you did not abide in it. You gave 10% of your animal livestock, 10% of your agricultural produce, but you did not adhere to the weightier matter. Are you understanding this?